progressive music. I mean, <coughs> progressive music for me is it, like to take the music some, somewhere out of the comfort zone, out of, out of the frame, you know, take it a, a step further away from, from the strict uh, verse chorus formula. And um, the first bands uh, I got into, uh, yeah, so, so, which, which is like a, uh, my introduction to, to prog rock or whatever you should call it, uh, it's probably Led Zeppelin and uh, Deep Purple. Rush, Genesis, those classic bands, um, and later on now, of course, some more underground acts uh, from the from the early '70s scenes as well. Um, and those bands, uh, that kind of uh, inspiration has always always been there, even from 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 the start. I mean, it wasn't very evident on on uh, on. Bluehem or <laughs> Maldem or whatever, but, but the influences were there. Uh, it was just that we weren't skilled enough to, to actually to actually prove it. But uh, yeah, it's it's always been there and it still is huge inspiration. It, it's a lot more natural for us now to incorporate those parts in the music. I guess that's because we become mature old farts or something like that. But I still think we're pretty heavy. I'm not entirely sure um, where the prog rock thing started for me. Uh, I think it must have been Pink Floyd since that was the first band that I <coughs> really had a... where I called myself a fan and things like that. Uh, before them, uh, there was a lot of rock bands and heavy metal bands, Venom and that kind of thing. But I, I remember somebody asked Venom and Inti if they were prog, and I answered, no, I think we're frog, and I think that says everything about Venom, so that's definitely not where it started. It must have been Pink Floyd, Dark Souls to Moon. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not, it doesn't have the time signatures and everything that we usually associate with, with prog, the, the changes in time signatures, but it's, it does have the song Money, which is the first song uh, in 7 8 that made it to the top of the charts, which is kind of an achievement. Like the, the record company were all, <coughs> uh, they were all uh, uh, miserable when they heard it because like nobody's going to dance to this because the, the beat keeps turning. But it, it was a massive success, uh, of course, as we know. Uh, so I think that's the first prog band. But I, I did um, I did get into like. Prog, prog with King Crimson uh, a few years into Enslaved. Uh, I think a lot of metal people had that experience that they, they knew of it and they liked that kind of music, but then you hear uh, 21st century schizoid man and then it all just connects and you see, I think it's very easy to see the, <coughs> the link. It's just like it skipped a few generation steps in the, in the few generational steps and went from like the hardest for the most intense prog and, and now with metal, uh, extreme metal, it's, it's very closely social.